Hello. This training video demonstrates the calibration of bone mineral density in trabecular and cortical bone from micro CT scans in SkyScan systems. The version of CTAN used here is 1.11.4 and, and above. Note there have been some small changes in the histogram display in the binary image that we'll see in a few minutes, but these uh, minimally affect the overall process. We are looking here at the calibration scan of two BMD calibration rods as supplied by SkyScan, epoxy resin rods containing bone, uh, calcium hydroxyapatite um, powder embedded at concentrations of 0.25 in the lower density rod and 0.75 grams per cubic centimeter. If I invert the image, we can see the water in the tube and the plastic walls and the two calibration rods. In the region of interest page, we set regions of interest within the two calibration rods. We basically make a circle which excludes the outer boundary, just the inner part, and we can set an upper and a lower limit. In fact, I have previously prepared regions of interest for this. If I load ROI, the ROI page, I will load first an ROI for the lower concentration phantom. <coughs> Please note, you should exclude, uh, avoid the region of interest coming too close to the boundaries between the phantom and the water, where you get a sort of intermediate phase, as shown here. It should be avoided. Moving to the binary image page, in this case, the threshold value that we choose is not very important because we are going to be measuring the whole contents of the region of interest. Note as well that previously you may have seen three tabs above the histogram display from image, from selection, and from dataset. Now there are only two. So, what's going on? Well, there's been a small change and simplification in how this works. Please note the button at the end of the row of buttons under histogram. This button is the toggle VOI view. If I click on it, note that the uh, binarized display is restricted to the region of interest. Clicking on it again, and that uh, selection is removed. Now, that selection has the effect of what was previously done by the selection tab. So the clicking on this, you'll see that now we're looking at the histogram from only the selected part, only the ROI circle. Clicking on it again, and now the histogram uh, covers the whole image. So we want to put, we want to click on this button because we only want to know, obviously, the density within the calibration rod. And here is the, the histogram of that. Now, as before, note that with the from image tab selected, we are only looking at the histogram of the current cross section, number six six nine two. Clicking on from data set <coughs> integrates the. Uh, X-ray density over the entire data set, but once again, the restriction to the region of interest is carried out by this ROI button here. Here is the histogram for the whole data set. Here is the histogram from the three-dimensional ROI as shown up here. This is the one that we want. So as before, below the histogram, we have a display of the values. Now. We want to know <coughs> the density of this, uh, this region, and we have a choice of calibrating the bone mineral density according to either attenuation coefficient or household units. If I go to the File menu and Preferences and open the Histogram tab, we will see that at the top there is a choice to calibrate against attenuation coefficients and household units. Now, attenuation coefficient is slightly simpler. It uh, removes the need to, to calibrate to household units, which is not strictly necessary in the case of bone densitometry. So we will use this example. We will choose to calibrate against attenuation coefficient. So having selected our region of interest within the calibration phantom, both in the vertical range selection and in the shape, and then at the binary images page, clicking on from dataset and activating the region of interest, we then 
go to the attenuation coefficient tab. And at the bottom of this table, there is a summary data, which shows us that the, and the value that we want is the mean total. This mean total, in this case, is 0 0.01071. That is the average attenuation coefficient of all the voxels within this volume of interest. We output that data by clicking on the second button here, Save Histograms. We name it accordingly. Call this the EMD250, for example, and save that data. Now we do the same thing for the other calibration phantom. Return to the region of interest page. This time, load the ROI for the 0.75 grams per cc phantom, or 750 milligrams. Here it is. Return now to the binary image page. A progress bar will recalculate the density histograms. This time, for the higher concentration phantom. So, once again, clicking on the From Dataset button, uh, tab, and making sure that the VOI view is activated, the displayed density histogram is restricted to the ROI for this calibration phantom. And, to, and at the bottom, under mean total, we can now see an attenuation coefficient of 0 0.022553. We save that data again in the same way, save histogram. This is the 250 milligram data and this one the 750. Now we have the two numbers that we require to calibrate bone mineral density. So we will open those files. <coughs> Here is the file that we saved with the 0.25 uh, grams per cc data. And here is the number that we require right here. I'll copy that number. Now, File, Preferences, and Histogram. And I click on the Calibrate button. Here is the window that will open. Now, the two, two values of BMD and two values of attenuation need to be entered. The BMD values we already know. 0 0.25 and... 0 0.75. The values of attenuation are the values that we measure. The 0.25 phantom has the attenuation value that we just recorded, 0 0.0103, 107. Now, as for the other one, we again access the relevant number, which is mean total. This means the mean uh, attenuation of all the pixels within the volume of interest. And here it is. That number is also entered. And we click on OK. Note that when I click on OK, the histogram, the uh, equation displaying the relationship between BMD and attenuation coefficient will change, reflecting the application of the calibration curve. The calibration is now done. That calibration is permanently applied to CT Analyzer. If the program is restarted, or even the computer restarted, that value will stay the same, as it is written to the computer's registry. So we can now confirm the correctness of that value by going to the Bone Mineral Density tab and seeing that the displayed BMD is now the correct value, 0.75 grams per cc in this case, and in the other region of interest, not 0.25 grams per cc. Now let's apply this calibration to um, an experimental bone sample. In this example, we have two rat bone scans from an over and a sham-operated female rat. And in each case, we have scanned the femur. Here is the over uh, sample data set. Note that these bones have been scanned in the same tube of water as the BMD Phantom. 
This is an important practical point. The BMD Phantom should be scanned in the same mounting and setup as the uh, as the bones that should be calibrated. If the bones are scanned in vivo, and here the water surrounding the bone simulates the tissue of an in vivo scan, then the BMD rods need to be scanned in a tube of water with a di diameter the same as the animal leg to simulate the attenuation of the tissues around the, the BMD phantom, because the attenuation of water or tissue which is practically the same surrounding the bone will actually slightly influence the BMD value. So the BMD rods should be scanned in a similar setup as possible as the bones themselves. So within this data set we are going to open first a trabecular region of interest. A separate training video explains the basis of selecting trabecular and cortical regions of interest in rat and mouse appendicular bone. I will now open the ROI dataset that has been created from this region of interest. So here is the region of interest dataset for trabecular bone. We will go to the ROI page and apply the region of interest. Now we want to know the average BMD within the trabecular medullary volume. We move to the binary image page. As before, it doesn't matter too much what the threshold value is here because we're going to measure the average density of the, both the bone marrow and the trabecular bone. So the first thing we do is click on from dataset to integrate the histogram over the region of interest over the whole data set and we make sure that the ROI button is selected. Note that there are two definitions of BMD in the bone literature referred to as BMD and TMD. BMD is the value that has traditionally been calculated for trabecular bone which is the average bone mineral density of both the trabecular bone and the marrow tissue within the medullary volume of interest. Whereas for cortical bone, the term TMC is used, or TMD, which means tissue mineral density, which means that the density only of the bone mineral itself is measured, excluding the surrounding soft tissue. We will come on to that in a moment. For the trabecular bone mineral density, we will go to the bone mineral density tab in CT Analyzer, and we will scroll to the bottom of that to see the summary data. In the summary data, we first see the heading mean total. This is the mean total density of all the voxels within the volume of interest. And the value here is shown. It is 0 0.22925. And this is the averaged BMD within the trabecular volume. Once again, to output this value, we click on the Save Histogram button here. We can call this BMD. Now let's return to, now let's open the corresponding cortical region of interest data set. And we will go straight to the binary image page. Now we're going to measure what is referred to as the TMD, the tissue mineral density, because we want to know the density of the cortical bone itself and not of the surrounding soft tissue because cortical bone is thick enough for the partial volume effect not to significantly compromise our measurement of density, whereas with trabecular bone, the thinness of the structures means that partial volume effect compromises the material density and therefore one measures the average density of the trabecular bone and the marrow. So for cortical bone, we choose a threshold which is uh, suitable, higher than the threshold that we use for trabecular bone. And then we go again to the bone mineral density tab. Once again we click on from data set to integrate the density over the whole RI data set. Note that in this case we're going to use the thresholding itself as a way of selecting which pixels we analyze. 
so we do not need to apply a region of interest. So we go to the bone mineral density tab and at the bottom we look again at the histogram at the summary data value. The top value saying mean total refers to all the pixels including outside and inside the bone. So this value is not in this case uh, relevant. Under the, under the heading selection the data under the heading selection refer to only the pixels which are binarized. The selection here is referring to the selected density range or the thresholded range, not a region of interest selection. We are told the beginning and the end values, the lower and the higher margins in the whatever is the currently selected unit, i.e. bone mineral density. Now the value that we want here is the mean, which is here, which is 1.31. This is the mean TMD, the mean tissue mineral density, corresponding to the white pixels that are binarized as cortical bone, and the value is 1.31. Again, to output that value, we click on Save Histogram. That is how bone mineral density is calculated at the binary page. However, calculation is frequently done in the custom processing part of CT Analyzer by clicking on the fifth page here, custom processing. If I go to that page, how do I calculate BMD from this page? The procedure is slightly different. To begin with, I apply thresholding. Select the, the, the plugin under the internal tab, click the run button, and apply the selected chosen value, in this case a threshold of 120. The threshold is applied in the same way as at the binary page. Now we want to make this binary image become our region of interest. We only want to know the BMD within this white region. So we will run the bitwise operation and we will create the expression region of interest equals copy of image, choosing copy out of the list of Boolean operations. Now the region of interest shown in this button here is the same as the image shown here, and the image inside the ROI is also the same. If we want to make this into a task list, we make the bitwise operation become the second task. Now we run reload, we choose reload, and run and reload the image so we would start with restore the original gray level pixels which we want to measure. Now the image inside ROI is restricted to the cortical bone. So we add reload to our task list and now we run histogram. Choose the histogram plugin, we run it. Out of the available units we select bone mineral density in 3D space and inside the ROI. If we wish to create a summary results file, we tick the appropriate button, and by clicking on the dot button, set up a file within which to summarize our data. Let's call this cortical TMD. And we continue. To look at the results of any operation carried out in custom processing, go to Output Report, the final of the four tabs, click on the upper of the two open buttons under Output File, and here are the results. So the mean is 1.31 as we saw previously. So how about trabecular bone? Before I leave this uh, cortical analysis, let's put our task list together. Output the, the histogram, and now we will save this task list. So export task list to the file, and cortical BMD task. This means that if I return later, I want to do the same task again, I click on import task list. 
and here it is. Now we will load the Trabecula ROI dataset. This time it's important for us to apply the ROI. Then we move straight to custom processing. So what task list do we need in order to calculate the average trabecular bone mineral density for both the trabecular bone and the, the marrow? We need to make sure that the ROI is applied. In this case, the task list, if we can call it that, is extremely simple. It's just the histogram operation by itself. We calculate the bone mineral density in 3D space. We will change the name of our output file to Trabecula. We run the task, and now the result will show a Trabecula bone value. Here it is. Finally, let's calculate the Trabecula BMD for both the of the, the sham operated and the over optimized data sets using the batch manager. This button here opens the batch manager. So our task list in this case is very straightforward, just the histogram plugin because we already have our region of interest defined. Now we load the region of, now we load the data sets and the corresponding regions of interest. We click add and first under the over, over, OVX dataset, we select the Trabecula RI dataset and we click on the RI button to add the appropriate region of interest. Then we add the other dataset, number 78, sham. And the corresponding region of interest also. Now we click start to run the analysis both of those data sets. The results can be found in this summary results file here. Note that we did the trabecular bone analysis twice in the case of the over optimized data set, but here are the results. The mean value for the sham operated for the OVX animal and for the sham operated animal. This append summary results to file is an important function for both density analysis and also morphometric analysis, automatically creating a summary table of results, avoiding the need for manual cutting and pasting of columns of data from individual text results to a, file, to a summary spreadsheet. So for cortical bone, the principle is very much the same. Let's change our task list. Let's import the cortical BMB task list. And now we will add the cortical RI data sets. This time we don't need an ROI because the segmentation is going to create the ROI for us. Now we run that again. And looking at the results, the first uh, line is a repeat, so we'll delete it. And we can see increasing the decimal place that there's a small difference in BMD. The over optimized animal has a 1.314 uh, grams per cc BMD, whereas in the sham operated animal it's slightly higher at 1.326. So this is an overview of first how we calculate, how we calibrate bone mineral density using uh, the calibration phantoms, and secondly, how we then implement that calibration and measure bone mineral density both for trabecular bone and cortical bone using either the binarization page of CT Analyzer or alternatively in the custom processing. And remember how BMD is defined. 
in, as BMD, or bone mineral density, in trabecular bone, averaging the density of the bone marrow and the trabecular structures, while in cortical bone, the TMD, or tissue mineral density, basically looks only at the cortical bone itself, excluding the surrounding soft tissues. Thank you.